Good morning, beautiful people. I hate this part of the day. Cause Bart's leaving me! You promise? Yeah, I don't like this part of the day. You really hate it when I leave you? I thought you said you, I make you happy. Well, you, uh, huh? I thought you said I make you happy when I leave. You're like, yeah, oh, you get know? out of my life. No! No, well, I, I don't mind. I'm not like an overly attached girlfriend, so I don't mind when you go, right? But the mornings are always, even if we're not together, <laughs> even if we're not together, what are you doing? I always do that, as you're talking about. It gets more volume in my hair. Even when we're not together, Oh, sorry, yeah, even even if we're not together, we still go to the gym together. And it's super cute because I'm working out and I glance and then there's Pop Bear's big belly. Promise? Yeah, but now you got a meeting in the morning and I got to go to the gym and when I look around, there's no big belly. I have to do a podcast. That's great. But that still doesn't take away that it makes me sad. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like you're fighting an invisible ghost. No. It's magic techniques. Are you gonna miss me at all? I always miss you. I always text you in the middle of the day. My mom's friend, I miss you. Every day I do. You didn't do it yesterday. It's like, what was your message? I know. Fine. Are you gonna have a nice day? Huh? Are you gonna have a nice day today? Probably. That's good, Papa. I usually always have a pretty good day. Fine. Give me a kiss. See you later. See you later, my favorite Big cutie bubble butt. Right. Bye. Good morning. This is usually what I look like in the morning. I'm the worst. I'm seriously the worst when it comes to removing my makeup because I get home and I'm so exhausted. And if I don't take a shower at night, my makeup's not coming off. And I know I should because it's so bad for the skin. Like, I know all these things, but I'm so fucking lazy. And I'm so embarrassed to even say that I'm so lazy because I don't ever want to admit that I'm a lazy person because I feel like I'm not a lazy person, but this is freaking proof that I'm a lazy person. Look, I left everything on my face. I don't really wear that much makeup. I wear like a little bit of like concealer. Honestly, I don't even know the difference between foundation and concealer. I know concealer is supposed to be a little bit thicker or something to conceal any sort of blemish and foundation. I think is to even out the skin tone and then there's compact, which could be a powder form of foundation, but I don't know. But anyway, I wear some sort of foundation concealer type thing underneath my eyes because I always have dark circles. Um, and then I have a couple blemishes that you guys can see here, like pimples. And that's probably due to the fact that I don't fucking wash my fucking makeup off at night. Um, so then I put a little bit here. I don't really wear like in, like over the entire face. Um, I will wear some like, what is it called, bronzer? And I wear eyeliner. Um, what is this? Mascara and that's it. Oh, and blush. And then that's all I wear. But then throughout the day, like I'm not touching it up or anything. So it's just kind of like I hug people or like I touch cheeks with people and it rubs off. So by the end of the day, it's pretty much gone. But yeah, so I guess this is my, my video where I confess to you guys that I'm a lazy piece of shit. Cause I don't take it off and I'm like messing up my own skin and it's crazy because I have like crazy skin products. Like I have this stuff that has like um, algae and blueberry extract or some bullshit and then I have this other thing that's like a facial serum and it's supposed to help with some of the bullshit. And then I have this thing that's a deep hydrating firming syrup and some of the bullshit but I don't use any of it because I don't wash my fucking face at night but I need to change it because I'm gonna look like I'm freaking 50 when I'm like 30. So, don't wanna do that. But you wanna know what's even more fucked up? Since I work out in the morning, I still don't wanna wash my face. And that's so gross. Um, so that means that I have like half 
Look at like this one. It's like half of my eyeliner's on. So what do I do? I grab a pencil. <laughs> and then I just fill in the line and I touch up my fucking makeup. Isn't that horrible? Isn't that horrible? But it, it, it's so fast and it's so convenient. So then I'll just touch up my eyes real quick. Won't put anything on my face because I'm going to be sweating. And then I go work out and then I come back home and I take a shower and bada big bada boom, I'm done. Am I the only person that's like, that does this fucking hate his shit? Is it just me? Can you just let me know, ladies? Is, like, am I like a piece of shit female? Like, or do you guys like, you're like, no girl, I understand. Sometimes you have that day, you just don't want to take off your makeup. And I'm not saying I don't do it every single night. Like, I don't purposely just like fucking, cool, I'm not gonna like fucking wash my makeup off today. Fuck yeah. No, it's not one of those. It's just one of those where I'm like, fuck, oh, I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like, taking out my contacts. I'm like, I can't, I just want to go to bed. It's one of those type of moods. But, please let me know if it's just me. Because if it's just me, I want to change that shit. But if it's common and it's normal, then I'm gonna be like, all right, it's common and it's normal. I'm not a piece of shit, but that should probably change. Oh, my favorite toothbrush ever. I don't even know what company this is. I think it's, oh, Philip. But I highly recommend you guys get an electric toothbrush because you think you're brushing your teeth right now, but they never feel as clean as this one makes it feel. This is the closest my teeth have felt to feeling dentist cleaned, like, ever. I highly recommend it, guys. I don't know what brand maybe you can talk to your dentist about what brand he is, but these guys are the shit. Look at these fucking bozos. Cute bastards. <laughs> you cute bastards. You seem so stupid. <laughs> Look at the way she plays around that little bush. <laughs> They're just putting on a show for you guys. Good girls! They're like, we're on camera. Let's show them how cute we are. Big cutie pies, get her on! <laughs> Damn, she just duked you, ju juked you guys. She was like, coming at you, psycho. Heading to the gym now, in traffic. At the gym now, I'm in the back lot. They just got this guy right here. And Bart's so adamant about me playing basketball. And I'm like, bro, I can't play basketball. I got fake tits now. <laughs> no excuse really, but I'm just so afraid of elbows. Like, I always get injured playing basketball. It's such a crazy heavy contact sport that I'm just not about that life. And I'm not about, like I spent 10 grand on these guys. I'm not about to have one of them pop in me, even though it takes a lot for it to pop. That's the excuse I'm going with. Not trying to play crazy basketball. I'll play horse though. 
But yeah, everyone's pretty excited to have the basketball court here at Barbell. Um, everyone's always talking about, I'm gonna buy you up, I'm gonna buy you up, I'm gonna buy you up. If they tell me that, I'm, I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're gonna fucking massacre me. You're gonna definitely ball me up. If you wanna feel good about yourself, play with me, because I fucking suck. But anyway, <laughs> um, I'm here now, and I'm getting my gear out. I carry a pair of long socks with me, because uh, when I squat, I wear knee sleeves. And it's easier to slide on my knee sleeves if I have a long socks on. And I've been using my Lululemon bag, my backpack. I feel like this is more convenient for my lifestyle in terms of, you know, when I carry my gear. I'm not a big, just one shoulder. Like, I feel like there should be even distribution of heavy shit on my, on my body. And I don't, I, I don't feel it's fair for one side of my body to just, like, lean. So I, I get a backpack and I got both sides. What? Yeah. Everyone thinks this looks sick, but what I'm looking at is like the wood. Why? Why? Why does everyone think this is this is sick? But you're talking about the wood. What's going on with the wood? I don't know. I think they hired two professionals to build this from scratch. <laughs> is that right, Joe? It's almost like real professional, real professional contractors put this together. Wait, wait. But it was you and me that built it. <laughs> oh, that's oh right. Oh, oh, that's that's why it good. looks good. I mean, the paint job was all right on the mural. The white, the white. Yeah, the white. The white's okay, but it's kind of distracting from the black paint. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what'd you shake your head at? Um, <laughs> I just, just we're gonna say like, and just leave out. We're gonna take pictures of this and take credit for it. New wall done by Sarah and Joe. <laughs> Little do they know it has nothing to do with the white part, it's the black part. That's genius. It's true. It is. It is true. It's genius. It's genius. <laughs> this looks great though. So this is going to be our little barbell set. And then, so Ren's kind of demonstrating what it would look like. Not at all, bro. There it is. You want your chalk bag? I missed you, dude. Nah. Uh, 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 how was Ohio? It was a blast. Yeah? I heard you were a machine. It was crazy out there. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? what monster? I gave it Fuck. Him too. He had coffee, monster. Right? Okay. Coffee, coffee. Oh, oh man. The whole time. This is the machine. And then we kiss. This is just <laughs> Gross. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Yeah, for sure. What the hell? Weren't you working out, Grid? No, this is part of his workout. This is part of my workout. I hate my getting paid by the minute. He was getting paid by the minute. Oh, that's a businessman, dude. Yeah. Dude, that's that's business. Business. Grid still has chalk on his fucking back. Like, he's probably sweaty. <laughs> Oh, oh. The worst. What did you say? I said you would be a little bitch. So Gio, every time we play basketball, Gio either tries to back out, and we've talked about this too. Listen, no, 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 before you interrupt me. Mark said that guys need their spouse to come through and cheer them on, even if you don't like him. Like every time when he hugs you, he tells me he hates it, but he knows that you like it. So. <laughs> he said that? No, he loves hugging you. But you're supposed to cheer them on, and if you're not there, I'll be there. I'm just not trying to you play. You have to play though. I just talked because about. You it. have to play because after my workout, Bart's gonna make me play for like 15 minutes. <laughs> so you have to fucking play. <laughs> I don't even want to play. I love that. I want to play basketball or something like this. <laughs> oh, he wants to play today. He wants to play after work after the workouts now, starting next month. He wants to play 15 minutes of basketball. Oh, that's great. That's fun. That's fun. No, stop it. You'll like it. Cause you're having fun, it's not a workout. I love basketball, but when the legs don't work, it doesn't, <laughs> basketball doesn't work either. No, I was just saying how I'm not gonna play, cause I paid 10 G's for these guys. And I like how Bart makes me do the sled, and every time I come to the gym, nobody touches it. <laughs> Everybody just looks at He me tells like, everyone not to touch it, cause he wants to make sure that it's free when you're done. <laughs> Everybody's kind of like, why is he doing that to himself? <laughs> but you're gonna look like a fly bitch. I just, I want to talk about somebody, namely you, so you have to play basketball. I'm not going to play basketball. You have to play basketball. I'm not. I just got boobs. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> I had boobs since I was fucking three years old, and I've kept them. There's no excuse. <sighs> 
play ball. She gonna play ball. I can't wait till you're six years old. Why? You're just gonna be Mexican Santa Claus. I'm gonna be just a crazy ass six year old. <laughs> I am. <laughs> you got the Santa Claus level. I wanna go to the, I wanna go to the club one day as a six year old and just fuck around and just be like and get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> and get arrested. <laughs> Sexual harassment. I was like <laughs> what? Like that. That's what I did to him in Ohio. I heard there was two beds, but then both of you guys just slept on one. <laughs> yeah. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. It, it, was, it was so it was cold. Too so we had to share one. But then it got hot, so we had to take off all our clothes. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, I'm not going to hang out with you guys anymore. He's too tired to laugh at your shit yeah, right now. Uh, this is cool. You guys gonna do the toxic what? stuff here? Yeah. This is dope. This is the therapy room. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the Barb Overgate therapy room. What would you like to talk about today? I'm Nothing. Gonna, I'm gonna throw away that slide. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm done training and I'm going home now. Um, I spent about a couple hours there and normally I like just sticking earphones in my ear holes and listen to some tunes while I train because I really like to focus and I know I'm like super ADD because my friends are there and I want to talk to them and connect with them um, so I end up taking way too long to train but I don't know, today felt like a day that I just wanted to connect with people and I didn't want to wear earphones and I just wanted to, you know, touch bases with them, joke around and have fun and whatnot. So it took me a little bit longer than usual, but not to the point where like it ruined the rest of my schedule on the day. So um, it felt super fulfilling just connecting with, you know, the girls at the gym that I train with, they're super, super motivational and super empowering. and. I don't know why I'm so emotional right now, actually. I always feel like crying. I think it's because I'm on my period. Um, FYI, guys, when a girl's on her period, her emotions are uncontrollable. So right now, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. But yeah, like the girls at the gym, they inspire me so much. Because I have like a range of girls that I talk to there, you know? Um, and they're all like super femmy girls. Like they're super girly girls. But like they train like fucking men. And I love that because they don't let any like stereotypical anything get in their way of what they want to do and I think that's absolutely motivational so when I see them go all ham and all and go all in I'm like fuck yeah girl power and I love it like I love strong people and I don't mean like physically strong people I just mean like emotionally mentally strong confident people like that's who I'm drawn to like I fucking love that shit I'm trying to make a right turn and I'm going to do it. Yeah, I fucking love that shit. Um, yeah. So it kind of took me a little bit longer than it needed to today to train. But again, I liked it. It was fulfilling. But going home now and it's raining. Look at this. I'm in traffic. Traffic's trying to get on the freeway so I can be in more traffic. Isn't that ironic? But... Believe it or not, I actually do enjoy being in traffic because I get to think a lot. I get to think and plan out my day and I don't mind it as much as other people do, I guess. But here I go, back home. So, tomorrow we are going to the spa and in one of these spas, um, they don't give you clothes and there's like a mud bath or something that's gonna take place. Um, so we want to wear clothes that we don't mind potentially ruining. So I'm trying to find clothes at Target. Not to say anything about Target quality, but it's very affordable for really decent and sometimes really good quality. So I'm trying to find something um, that I can wear and I don't mind possibly ruining. So, whoa, baby cry. So I'm here trying to find something to wear or buy so that I can wear comfortably. <sighs> and I don't see anything. These are like shaping things. What is this? Body briefer? 
I don't know what this is. Oh, you wear it this way. Smooths and shapes. Interesting. Dude, we have so many interesting little tricks of the trade. Like we have the racerback bras here. So when you want to wear a little, a little racerback tank top, you don't see any bra straps. And then we have some that are, what's this one? Oh, this one's just regular, but it opens up in the front. Like so. And then it's, we have it with underwire so that it shapes the boob. It like cups and pushes up, not a push-up bra necessarily. Let me see this one. Oh, that's not one either. And then we have push-up bras and then we have comfort flex fit, whatever that means. It's like, holy shit, we have so many different things. But I don't need any bras. Let me see. Oh, and look, I'll, I'll teach you guys something. So the size is right here. Okay, <laughs> like the size is right here. How it says 38B. This guy. There you go. This is 38B. 38 is this, like, I guess the circumference of the girl's, like, not torso, but um, the measurement around her, like, her bosom. And then the B is the cup size, so it's like the size of the actual boobie. So that's how you know how to read for bra sizes. So like this one means the girl, like this area here, this circle here, that means that's 38 here. And then this cup right here is the D. So it's a pretty big, pretty big boob. Anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. I need to find something cool. I just want like some sweats. Like this will be cool. Some chill black sweats. I think I got it. Oh, this has dinosaurs on it though. And pizza. Need to stock up on some makeup now. Like this one. I don't know what color skin I am. I think I'm medium, but then I think I'm honey. Oh no. Oh shit. What color am I, guys? Medium? Honey? Brightener? What the hell does a brightener do? You wanna go outside? Do you wanna go outside? You are like, hell no, nah, crazy lady. Come on, let's go outside. Come on. See, out the window. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go outside. You are like fucking crazy, Geo. Shut your ass up. Huh, Varney? Huh, Varney? Up, up, over here, over here, over here. Huh, Varney? Woohoo! I was so scared that these guys were going to be out in the back getting wet and then going, fuck that, I want to go back indoors. I'm not trying to get wet. And then being soaked and then jumping back inside the house. I was so afraid of that, but they're such good ladies that I think they felt a couple sprinkles. They were like, fuck that, I'm going inside. So there's. No dirt. Thank you guys. Holy crap. Their bowls are floating. <laughs> oh my god. That is not good. Wow. I wasn't expecting it to rain this hard. Okay. Well, we need it, right? 
It's like that sideways rain right now. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? I hate the sideway rain. It feels like it's hitting you in the side of the face. It's coming from like the left and the right instead from instead of coming from above. Well, hope everyone's out there safe. Closing this damn window because it's cold. Do you want to go outside? You don't even look in my direction. Do you want to go outside, crazy? Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Hell no, huh? Okay. I feel you. Gonna wrap a couple presents that I got for Ren. Well, Tiff and I got for Ren. We're gonna go half hers, but I saw these at Urban and I thought these were super cute for her. And then, because she likes to train so hard, and because Calvin Klein is so thick now, I got a little sports bra and some little under undies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna put in a cute little box for her. And then, voila, I'm done. Be Choi. So uh, you're launching, you're launching. Oh, can we talk about that? <laughs> we can tease it. We're still working on it. All right, what do you want to tease? Because I haven't said anything. I just said you're launching, you're launching. So we're launching this thing. It's basically a storytelling collective, also clothing apparel. Basically our thing is every shirt we release, there's gonna be a certain theme to it. And then tied to that release will be a video project off somebody that fits that theme. Toy. So for example, we have this explore, maybe we have this explore theme. And really? There's one person who's Die. 20 years old, who's 20 years old, who's traveled so many places, who's about to travel to Australia and Germany. He might fit in that maybe explore theme. Maybe. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, damn, dog. I see you here, though, because uh, I was kind of, ha I had to hide some of the barbell shit, because all of a sudden. All of a sudden, Beecho is like, oh, we're coming out with that. And now you're texting, you're testing, you're texting someone right now. What are you sending? Notes? Are you sending pictures? He's a spy. Damn, dog. That's nice. He's a spy. All right. Gonna support or what? Hell yeah, I'm supporting right now, homie. That's tight. Did you see all the text messages he just sent to his No, I saw the pictures. You can see the text messages. All right, we're getting we're getting ready to meet. Everyone's everyone's trickling in. Chilling. Chilling. The rain stopped, but the back is still very much wet. So I gotta walk these hoes. Which I should be doing anyway. Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa. I know it's really black. Sorry, guys. They're just pulling me down the stairs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out. Dang, it's pitch black. Dang, y'all ain't seeing shit tonight. <laughs> What you call me? So I'll just be standing here and then you tell me to say. Yeah. And what you, does you, Niga you mean, what? David? Niga means you in Korean. So he said Niga, you're telling your. So, it's like, so you're not saying a bad word. No. You're just saying you, sit down. I call him a nigga. <laughs> <laughs>